Okay, today I'm going to be testing some battery old wives' tales and see if they're true. First of all, does a battery weigh less when it's used? And then also, can you tell if a battery's charged just by dropping it and seeing how high it bounces? So I'm going to perform these two tests and you might be surprised by the results. And then I'm going to explain why it happens. So it's actually pretty hard to tell, even with a voltmeter like this, if batteries are charged. Because they're meant to keep a very constant voltage throughout the charge of the battery. And so unless you have some very special device, it's hard to tell if they're charged. So before we do the bouncing batteries, first let's test if the battery actually changes weight when it's charged or not. So I have two batteries here. I've labeled them number one and number two. So let's see how much these weigh. So number one weighs... 10.913 grams, and this is fully charged. And then number two weighs 10.863 grams fully charged. So now let's discharge these and see how much they weigh. Okay, so I have here my battery draining circuit. So I just have some batteries here hooked in parallel with two fans and two incandescent bulbs. And we're going to try to drain these batteries as fast as we can. Okay, we'll come back when these are fully drained. So the reason I'm draining it this way and not just short circuiting it and draining the battery that way is because I don't want to overheat it and destroy anything internally. Okay, it looks like everything stopped moving. Our batteries are completely dead. Now let's see if they weigh the same. Okay, with it fully drained, let's see how much battery number one weighs. Ten point nine one three. It's kind of changing. Ten point nine one one. And then battery number two. Ten point eight six six. Ten point eight six three. We got. So the first one was off by two milligrams, which is essentially nothing. That can just be error in the way that I measured it where it was placed on the scale, and also how warm the battery is. If there's a current of air around it, it can change the weight a little bit too. So this first myth is busted. Batteries do not weigh a different amount whether they're charged or not. So the reason these don't change weight is because this is a closed system. And these are alkaline batteries, so basically the reaction is that zinc turns to zinc oxide, and it transfers electrons from one electrode to the other electrode, but there's no mass at all lost from the system during this, so this is a closed mass system. Although technically, because I'm sure somebody's gonna mention this, since when these are charged, they actually have a higher energy than when they're not charged, Due to relativistic effects, the famous E equals MC squared equation, we can calculate that when this battery is charged, purely due to relativity, the battery does weigh 0 0.0015 micrograms more than when it's not charged. And that's due to the relativistic effects of when you add more energy to something, it weighs more. For example, something moving has a higher mass than when it's not moving. An electron that's moving has a higher mass than an electron that's not moving. And that's why in physics when they give you a particle mass, they call it its rest mass. And that's because it's the mass of the particle while it's at rest. Okay, next I'm going to be testing if you can see how much a battery is charged just by how much it bounces. So I'm going to have two batteries that are completely charged, two that are partially charged, and then two that are completely drained. I'm going to use the same method to drain them. Okay, these are now completely empty. None of the fans are spinning. Okay, here's our partially charged ones. Okay, so I've got my batteries here. The two on the left are the fully charged, two in the middle are partially charged, and then the two on the end are completely empty. So let's see how high they bounce when I pull out this stopper and let them all drop. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so definitely the batteries that had the least amount of charge bounced the highest. And that's because on the end of the battery, the zinc is in the form of a gel. And as the battery discharges, the zinc forms a zinc oxide. And when the zinc is a gel, it's a tightly formed gel. But when it becomes zinc oxide, it forms tiny little bridges or bubbles in there. And those zinc oxide bridges in there absorb the impact when the battery strikes the bottom here, and then it springs it back up. 
So a battery that's fully charged doesn't have as many of those tiny little zinc oxide springs in there compared to a battery that's discharged. And so you can easily tell which battery is charged just by dropping them. So I can easily tell this is the one that's discharged. So maybe this is where the myth came from, that batteries that are fully charged weigh more than batteries that are not charged. We just showed that that isn't true when we weighed them. But we did show that batteries that are not fully charged bounce higher than batteries that are fully charged. And so maybe that myth came from people confusing weight with how high things bounce. Maybe they thought that the batteries that are fully charged weigh more and so that's why they don't bounce as high. But now we know they're the same weight, it just has to do with how the internals of the battery are arranged so that it bounces higher or lower depending on if it's charged or not. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can easily test your batteries just by dropping them. So if you're not a subscriber yet, remember to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And let me know of any comments, questions, or suggestions you have in the comments section and I'll try to get to them. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.